This video is about my struggle with occipital neuralgia. I've had it for a little over three years now. Um, it's been quite a struggle. I got it from sitting incorrectly at a computer. Um, for a period, I was working 20 hours a week overtime, 60 hours a week, um, and I wasn't sitting correctly. My head was slightly downward, and um, slowly the muscles in my neck began to tighten, and um, after a while, I started getting headaches in the back of my head. Um, before I knew it, um, it, it went down through my neck and the pain never subsided. It stayed with me. Um, it's been with me ever since. I used to think, um, like maybe if I took a vacation or um, a leave of absence from work that it would go away, but I've taken over two weeks at a time and the pain's always there. It's not as bad when I'm not at work, um, but it never goes away completely. It's not a horrible sharp pain but it's always there it's a dull it's a dull pain sometimes the back of my neck is just completely numb um, it's it's just where the base of my skull meets my neck um, on the right side I did a lot of research about it and determined that it was occipital neuralgia. I'd gone to see I'd gone to see um, pain specialists, um, neurologists. The neurologist actually laughed at me and told me that I was too young to have chronic pain and I should exercise more, and that should make everything better. Um, I got an MRI, I got x-rays, and everybody said everything looked fine, looked normal. Um, nobody seemed to take what I was dealing with seriously. Um, I got acupuncture, I went to a chiropractor, I went to a physical therapist, I went to a neurologist went to a pain specialist, um, went to massage therapists, they, um, there was at times temporary relief from the pain, but nothing ever worked permanently. I would apply heat, apply ice, um, I tried pain medications, I tried muscle relaxers, um, different, um, I, I soaked in a hot bath, um, hot tub, sauna, um, I, I did exercise quite frequently, um, I did also neck exercises that the physical therapist showed me, which were just a complete joke, um, they may have temporarily relieved pain for 10 or 15 minutes, but they weren't the miracle cure that the therapist seemed um, uh, you know seemed to think that they were. Um, at, at one point, the pain was a lot worse than it is now, and. I found the exercise that relieved it a little, 
which was since it's on this side I was pulling my head this way and I held it for probably 15 minutes 15 minutes straight and when I released it I felt something move and that alleviated some of the pain um, I've tried it since then and it, there's been no result but that the one time that I did do that it made the pain about half of what it is now well now the pain is half of what it was then um, but I can't I can't lessen it anymore from from anything that I've tried um, I've I've gotten nerve blocks I've gotten you know cortisone shots directly into the nerve which do take the pain away for up to three days if that um, it always comes back and, and even after the injection I can still feel that something's wrong that something is not the way it should be um, I've read several different uh, reasons as to why the pain's there. It could be that the nerve is trapped either by swollen muscles or swollen blood vessels. Um, a, a nurse told me that being stressed, which is what I went through when I was working overtime at the computer along with having poor posture in the process um, can cause the muscles to tighten and shift cartilages in the back of the neck which put pressure on the nerve um, but like I said I've had you know weeks of vacation that were stress-free and nothing ever shifted back into place and the pain never fully went away. Um, it's been three years. None of the doctors or specialists seem to know any resolution for this. Um, you would think that Richmond, Virginia, being a pretty populated city with many hospitals and doctors would have some kind of explanation, some kind of cure or treatment for the condition that I'm suffering, but no one seems to know anything, and no one ever diagnosed what I had. I had to do the research myself and do a self-diagnosis. Um, it's, it's really depressing to know that every day you're going to wake up with this and it's really hard to lay down every night with this burden um, the the only thing that really gives me any sort of relief is um, is just pain creams they um, they just make me numb for half an hour or so just so I can get through my daily work life. Um, I read that one treatment was antidepressants and I have been on three different ones so far. Um, I guess I've become used to them after you know four to six months and I have to switch. They're by no means a cure. They just um, reduce the pain so I can make it through the day. The creams, um, I can I can use those icy icy hot, you know, when when it's unbearable. Um, I have an office job and the whole time I'm at my desk I I just massage the back of my neck just 
just to disturb the nerve, I guess, and alleviate the pain, trick trick the nerve to stop sending those signals to my brain. Um, that's what I have to do just to make it through the day, and it's embarrassing. And uh, the people I work with are respectful enough to not ask me what's wrong with my neck, why you know why I'm massaging it, stuff like that. But I know they, I know they want to ask those questions. It's just, you know, so for that reason, it's still embarrassing to me. Um, I never thought that at the age of 24, I would come down with a condition that I could never get rid of. I'm 27 now and I know it's not going anywhere. Um, I've read about different treatments, but none seem to be permanent or none seem to be what I'm looking for. One involves, um, one involves putting a needle beside the nerve and shooting liquid nitrogen against it to freeze or deaden the nerve which is not a permanent resolution and can lead to more complication. Another resolution would be to remove the nerve entirely which causes permanent numbness in that area which is not something I want to trade for the pain. Um, there were a few other treatments that seemed hopeless, like one would involve installing a device in your chest that's um, something like a pacemaker that's internal and it um, sends electric signals to your nerve to I guess numb it so so you don't feel the pain. Um, I've I've also used one of those uh, tens units that's external that uh, you put the electrodes wherever you're having the pain and that's that's one way uh, to alleviate the pain. I found that that works, um, but it, just as the nurse said, it, it, if you cut your finger, you shake your hand the pain goes away but when you stop shaking your hand it's back so that's the same concept with the external TENS unit uh, it sends the electric current through the nerve to trick it into thinking that it's not having pain um, but after 30 minutes of taking it off the pain's back so this internal device I forgot what they called it, I forgot the procedure. It um, stays in you permanently and uh, sends those same signals to the nerve to relax it or you know numb the pain. But I, I don't want something that invasive. Um, it just seems that with our technology there, sh there, there should be another way. Um, be it m medically, be it some type of pill or some type of procedure, um, a surgery where you can alleviate the pressure on the nerve without actually having to sever it or attach an electrode to it. Um, it seems like there should be something that can be done. Um, other than the, the treatments they have listed now. It, it's a pretty hopeless thing when when you go online looking for an answer to your pain and uh, everything turns out to be a dead end. Um, this isn't the worst condition that somebody could have. 
but it has changed my quality of life. It, it affects me every single day. And it changes my behavior. It changes the way I act towards my son, towards my family. Um, I'm a lot more aggravated or angrier than I should be because I'm in constant pain. And that reflects my on my behavior. Um, I'm just hoping that one day soon there will be some sort of medical breakthrough where somebody finally discovers a, a permanent treatment or a permanent fix for this condition. Um, not many people seem to know about it. Um, never heard it mentioned on TV at all. Uh, it took me months, maybe more, maybe years of digging to actually to actually find the words occipital neuralgia. And if somebody does ask me, why does your neck hurt? And I mention occipital neuralgia, they kind of roll their eyes or change the subject or look away because they've never heard of it either. So I just hope that You know that this is this is known about. Um, I, I, I by any means I don't want. I hope nobody gets it. I'm just saying. I hope more people become aware of it. Um, I entered it on YouTube and it, the results turned up two pages. Um, now, I, I could tell that the victims in these videos actually, they were sufferers of the same condition that I have, but uh, to different degrees, it seems to affect people differently. Um, I don't have the pain behind the eye, I don't have the um, pain on the back or the top of my head or behind my ears. I do feel the electric um, sensations from the nerve um, that does sometimes run to the base of my ear um, but it's few and far between um, sometimes when I press on it I can actually cause these sensations um, but that's not something that I suffer on a day to day basis like, like some of the people that I saw in these videos so like I said it's um, affects people differently, but I just found it disheartening that there were only two pages of videos on YouTube about the condition that I have. Um, I felt like it should be more widespread, um, more talked about than what it is, because it took me so long to find out what I had. It, it cost me so much money and so many doctor visits and I'm not one to complain about pain. It, it took me eight months of suffering through this to even go to a doctor to see what it was. And when nobody had the answer, that's when, that's when I went to get the MRI, the, the x-rays. Um, I just had to know what it was. And when I finally discovered the condition that I had, I thought there was hope. I thought I would find a treatment. And every time I enter the condition into a search engine for the internet, I always end up hitting a dead end. Um, I would only find the, the treatments or 
procedures that, that I spoke of earlier and none of these I just can't I can't do any of these um, I just made this video to make people aware that this condition is real it is life-changing um, and if you're suffering with it you're not alone um, and um, I, I know what you're going through and um, hopefully one day hopefully they'll find a better solution for it thank you